What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are going to be taking a look at Gilberto Silva. We've got one day left, well, two days left, really. So if you are looking at this guy or you've got this guy, apologies, I haven't had a training guide up on him. Um, but yeah, we are going to cover it now because a lot of people have been asking me about a training guide for Gilberto Silva. But I want to go over a wider kind of issue as well that I'm seeing a lot of people, especially newcomers and people that haven't been playing that game that long, kind of making the mistake with the overall rating and the auto allocation and following things that just don't really make sense. I mean, you know, a lot of the advice out there, um, you know, in terms of like building cards and stuff, uh, you know, it's not it, it's not from people that play the game, man. You know, auto allocating and getting the max rating on a player, you know, getting Gilberto Silva to a 95 doesn't automatically mean you're going to have the best version of that player, especially for you and your formation and your play style and your skill level. So, you know, I mean, um, we always try and give you a guide here, especially when you've got players like this that are potential game changers, right? So the first thing that we're going to look at are his player skills. He's got everything you could possibly want as a DMF anchorman. Now, when we've got an anchorman here and we have a DMF, you have to think of Gilberto Silva as somebody that's not going to be bringing the ball forward every uh, every or very often. Um, he will bring it forward manually if you want to with a touch and go or an overlap. Um, if you don't set any, you know, tactical or individual instructions on him, but you kind of have exactly what you want out of this guy here. You've got an anchorman, which means that he's going to anchor the central midfield area as a DMF, a deep lying defensive midfielder. He's pretty much, when you don't have the ball, when you're out of possession, you are pretty much going to be having this guy as a sweeper uh, center back. You've got blocker and interception, which are going to cut out passing lanes with the AI. Auto defending is very strong in the game, as you all know. And then he's also got heading, which is good in the air and aerial superiority, fighting spirit, man marking, and then he's got one touch pass and low lofted pass, which means that we don't need to focus too much on his passing because the minute we get the ball with this guy, we're going to be giving it to our more technical players, our wingers, our attacking midfielders, our central midfielders, and our strikers as soon as we possibly can. So you kind of think of him in possession as a center back. That's the way I would do it. But we will show you two different versions of him. He's also got a wavering form and on B rating as a, a legend. So when we take a look at his stats here, um, we are going to have a very, very compact player and a very dominant player. But I'm going to give you an example here of when you're training him, and I'm going to show you two examples of the best version of him. So the first one we're going to look at is an all-round, kind of a box-to-box -box anchorman. He's still going to be naturally defensive from the AI standpoint. He's going to control and handle defensively. He's going to always slot into defensive positions. But I think that this is a very poor version of him, right? You've kind of got middle-of-the-road stats with everything, without excelling in anything, right? Yes, you've got 85 pass and 80 tight possession, with 84 awareness tackling, 82 aggression, and 87 defensive engagement with 90 stamina speed and acceleration in the mid 70s but everything else is just it's just very average man there's no point getting silva and training him like this and you have to be careful because they haven't added the reset progression yet so if you train a player you are stuck with him until they add that now i'm going to give you an example of a player that just outperforms him that is available for free and you know why you shouldn't train silva that way and it is caicedo so this guy is available for a free five star with the nominating contract if anyone wants to check him out, check out my latest Road to Glory series. We have signed Caicedo in the later episodes, I think episode three and four. Um, this guy is a monster, man. You, know, you can see there that he's going to outperform pretty much every stat. The only thing you don't have is the player skills and the fact that he's a box-to-box. -box, but it just gives you a little bit of scope as to if you are training Gilberto Silva as a more, you know, kind of like complete central midfielder or a complete DMF. I just think it's a waste of time. Now, the second and the best version of him you will see is he's also a 93 rated. So these two players are both 93 rated overall. But look at the difference in the stats, man. Look at the difference in how these players are set up, right? You've got Gilberto Silva as 93 overall here. He's got 90s in every defensive stat, including 90 physical contact and 84 stamina with 80 header. Compared to this guy, who's got low 80s in all his defense, he's got middle-of-the-road speed acceleration. Yes, he's got 90 stamina, but you don't need that. That's a bit overkill, right? So for this player, this is probably the best version of him as an anchorman. As I said, all you're going to be doing is slotting him in between your center backs when you don't have position, possession. And usually with an anchorman as well, when you're on the pitch, you are just going to be manually covering the gaps that are being left centrally in the pitch because that's the main area that most people score, right? But again, if you are looking for an alternative, for newcomers, if you've missed out on Gilberto Silva and you're wondering, do I need to spend to spin? I mean, there are brilliant alternatives here. Look at Barrios here. He's available for 51,000 GP. He has every player skill that you could possibly want. He's got one touch pass, man marking, interception, blocker, sliding tackle, acrobatic clear, captaincy and fighting spirit. 
you look here yes he's got one touch pass man marking interception blocker area superiority sliding tackle and fighting spirit so they're very very similar they both have tree form which is unwavering form as you see there obviously the form here with the player update isn't going to be set to b the legends always have b but look at his stats man and look you can even make a better version of gilberto silva depending on how you play if you're not comfortable on the ball if you like to just get the ball away from your non-technical players you don't need to waste anything um on his shoot or his passing or dribbling as we have here right but if you are looking for somebody that's a little bit more well-rounded you can take a couple of those there and you can say right i can have an 80 low pass and i can have 76 tight possession so it's all relative man it's all relative to how you want to train up a player and this will obviously have an impact as well on your overall so a lot of people make the mistake of you know building a squad that is not really set up to um set up exactly how they would want to play it so we can get a 94 rated version of Gilberto Silva because we've you know that's just an overall for his card in that position it doesn't mean he's going to play better for you on the pitch so just to keep that in mind Les there are some brilliant alternatives out there but yeah that would be a complete version of Gilberto Silva he's still going to be super defensive because of his player skills if you play anchoring on him and he can play a bit of ball with this if you want to keep your opponent guessing with a bit of possession based football but I think this guy is the ultimate version of him I would ignore passing and dribbling there are enough as they are there for a dmf and i would you know boost up his defensive capabilities as much as possible if you wanted to pop one or two on the dribbling or one or two on the passing you could do that as well but i do think that defensively he is an absolute monster so that is it for a training guy for gilberto up next we will have zico